Hello everyone. So I'm gonna make this one quick because it's 11 o'clock at night and yeah, it's it's been a fun night putting out fires that I caused. Um, so you may notice, hey, that switch is black. First off, that switch is, don't be that way. Second off, yes, yes it is. And that's because I went back to the 2560 or whatever this is because honestly, I didn't see much of an improvement. It's a gigabit switch that I'm replacing with another gigabit switch. My backhaul to everything else is gigabit, so I wasn't using the 10 gig ports on it. So, uh, yeah. Really, really didn't do anything for me, so. Yep, she's back in service and will continue to go along its business. Um, however, this was not a gigabit switch. This was uh, a 262048. So I only had, you know, really two gigabit ports because the stupid SFP ports are dual personality. So, uh, yeah, I now have gigabit switch, but I'm not doing what we do in production and forcing everything down to uh, 10 meg. No, no, no. If I switch the LED mode over to speed, behold, a majority of my things are gigabit. But how did I do that, you may ask? As that's old, those are supposedly based off of 3Com stuff, so those are old. Uh, well, that's still running 100 meg, so remote site links are still 100 meg, which is fine because remote site links are also over T1. So, you know. There you go. And if I decide I want to do Ethernet sites again at some point, um, which is what this was for, I'm probably just going to dig out my pile of 20 GGMs and... Yeah. I need to stay off eBay. Um, I'm probably just going to dig out one of those and make another core router uh, 3 and 4 pair. That way I can just run gigabit site links. Because the GGMs are capable of gigabit. Um, so if I swap it back over to speed, so right here you have core router one and well, I, uh, blah, 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 yeah, core router one. Uh, I forgot what this is. I think this is. I forgot. Not important. Oh no, it's the tel it's the telephony firewall. Um, but this is a GGM. This is so we have exit router one. Gateway 1, Gateway 2, and GGSN. No, GGSN's over here. I forgot what this is. Doesn't matter. Oh, no, these are the uh, server links. So the server links are actually gig. Not gig. Gig, 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 gig. More gig over there. Because, yeah, these are actually capable of gigabit. Um, yeah, little, little known fact, because I stumbled across it whenever I was resetting one of them. And when I reset it, it bumped the port up to gigabit to TFTP the OS onto it. So I'm like, oh, okay, I guess these are able to do gigabit. So yeah, I've got these all set to uh, auto port mode because I didn't want to figure out what baud rate it wanted for the gigabit port speed. So I just said auto, figure it out. Um, downside, I now have to edit the configuration. I can't just take it what, what comes out of the tool the config tool and spit it onto there. Now I have to do some edits now, which is fine. I was already doing that for the gateways because I've got custom routes on there that I don't really want to lose. I am just trying to stray, stray away from them. I've got most of them removed because um, most of them was just how I was getting, talking between here and my normal LAN. That's now handled by the border router to the customer enterprise network or SEN. Um, which is now Gigabit 2, so I can now watch movies from my NAS through the RNI um, to my dispatch console. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Man, I'm getting loopy. I need to go get some sleep. Um, so, yeah, I think I can now say I have the... Granted, I don't know what the engineers do with their magical test core, but I, I have outside of the engineers, I have the, I probably, the fastest Astro Core on the planet. 
because normally it's 100 meg. I'm now running gigabit. Welcome to the modern age, I guess. 10 gig Astro Core win though. <laughs> 